He's an obvious Armand's counter. How is this guy going to be of any use? No matter what you do, Armand's can A2 into A3 on this guy. 100% useless. To a mid gamer, this looks like a great all around support kit for one of my Hydra teams. For the rest of the week, my videos are going to be scheduled. This one's probably going to be scheduled for Wednesday. So any videos for the rest of the week that you guys see up until Monday, are probably going to be outdated. The reason is because my wife and I are going to be spending this weekend uh, doing nothing except watching movies, you know? Ever since I started doing YouTube, it's been nothing but content creation. Uh, and it's mostly because I love it and I'm highly passionate from it. I don't make a lot of money from YouTube, so it's actually pretty, pretty low. So this is how you know I'm, I'm actually doing it because I love making content. We're talking about Fusion leaked today. I don't know anything about this. When I started doing content, I stopped watching and consuming a lot of other content, right? I'm playing Raid all the time, making content for Raid all the time. The last thing I want to do is watch Raid content. A1 attacks one enemy two times. 35% chance books up to a 50% chance of decreasing the cooldown of a random ally skill from one turn or by one turn. That's pretty cool. Kind of like Grand Oak Padrig. If an ally had their cooldown decreased, also fills that allies, uh, allies, allies turn meter by 10%. A2 is going to remove all debuffs from all allies. 30% heal on a three turn cooldown. Also heals by an extra 2% for each debuff removed by this skill. Places a shield 15% of this champion's max hp for two turns and all debuff removal from all allies is a uh, it's pretty good a little bit of a heal too a3 75 percent books up to a 100 percent to a four turn cooldown of increasing the duration of all enemy debuffs by one turn can also increase the duration of all ally buffs by one turn so i'm pretty sure there's some comps in there phantom shogun i don't know turn meter reduction effects decreased by half and then also fills turn meter by 20 whenever a cc debuff is placed on an ally if there are multiple champions on this team with that skill the effect with only, uh, is only going to activate once and this happens every two turns whenever a cc debuff is removed or expires on an ally fills their turn meter yeah their turn meter by 20 percent uh yeah, it's cool. Something I'm going to skip, though, which is something I, I want to do because I need a break from Raid. I'm going to take a break from Raid. I'm not, I'm not going to play for a while. Like, I'll, I'll do daily stuff, but I'm not going to really be invested in it. Well, I say that now, but we'll see. Uh, let's see what people are saying. Fucking hopefully so I can skip it without a regret. True. This. Exactly. Same three fusions in a row. Just drop my resources pretty low. Only have 50k energy, which is the... What? only have 50k energy what do you mean only do you pay for that much energy or is there a grind i'm missing either paid or they've been doing fusions or they'd have to do all their dailies but skip all fusions for a very long time to save up that much i was able to save up 60k just doing dailies for over a year not the wisest way to play because you miss out on nice fusions but i lost interest in most of the game wanted to see how much resources i could save up yeah i feel that a couple of fusions and titan events will burn through that nowadays that's true yay finally a fusion i can skip according to reddit <laughs> according to reddit that's every fusion wixville skip thor skip armand's skip easy skip he's an obvious armand's counter hmm is he it's only filling turn meters though Whenever it uh, increases the champion's turn meter. I mean, it, this also deals with sheep, the CC um, passive effects. But at the same time, all you're doing is just increasing turn meter by 20%. So it's just like how... The better question is how effective of a counter to our mons could that be? Especially since our mons is usually going super fast. Literally on par with Flesh Terror. What an absolute joke. Oh, like the fusions CCs said skip at the beginning. Kind of interesting counter to our mons, but weak at that. Exactly. What counter? Armand's A2 steals 350% turn meter instead of 400%, then stuns the whole team. This guy is best at 130% turn meter, already stunned. Armand's gets an extra turn, can instant A3 him if he wishes, and poof, his passive disappears. Sheeps him right away. Even if Armand somehow passed this extra turn, this guy's passive has a cooldown. Two turn cooldown, booked. What's he gonna do? Cleanse the whole team from the stun, get a measly 20% meter increase. Yeah, exactly. Useless against our mons. I agree. I wonder if Pal when or if Palarium is going to admit defeat and finally nerf our mons. Four turn instead of three turn cooldown on his A2, turn meter reduction instead of steel would make him enough to be OP instead of broken. I fucking hate our mons. There's no reason why our mons should be soloing an entire team. I. I <laughs> 
I said it's weak, but if you imagine, Brugard starts with pinpoint. And here's the thing, right? People always provide these what if scenarios, but in my experience reading these, not just from Reddit, but also from YouTube and, and Discord and everything, these are very niche what if examples, right? It's not going to be the general average experience, right? So it's hard to say. Brewguard starts with pinpoint, assuming you have pinpoint. So he gets immunity to stun for one turn. Again, assuming you have pinpoint. Less than or negative or 50% uh, turn meter stolen. Lose the speed race, 40% turn meter, three team. This is E, this is a lot of thinking. Not the best, but it's my first thought what you can use him for. And this is very situational. You're correct, people tend to be bad at recognizing nuances or seeing things in a spectrum as opposed to just being black and white. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. But at the same time, when you're in the sauce, you only see the black and white. The champ has tools to combat Armands, true, but they aren't great. Even more so true. He isn't a counter, exactly. But you could likely build him around being an Armand's answer to help turn meter some matches, there would be a loss into a potential win. That being said, still pretty mid. Polarium really needs to eat crow and recognize they screwed up bad with our mons. His kit is wildly overtuned. What nuance are you talking about? In what scenario would this guy be any use against our mons? Our mons is going to win the speed race because let's be honest, nobody is going to put their best gear on this guy. What happens after our mons uses his A2? Like, what's your setup? How is this guy going to be of any use? No matter what you do, Armands can A2 into A3 on this guy, 100% useless. Exactly, that's the thing about Armands, there is no nuance. You can't nuance counter him. If he gets his A2 into A3 going, you're dead unless you have grossly overgear your opponent. I'd say my best counter against Armands if I had to face him, because anytime I go up against him in live arena, which I'm not really doing anymore uh, on my main account because I, I have Marius now, who I was using Torment a lot. If I was like forced, to go up against him but i haven't been forced to go up against armands in a while um i don't know if even i think the only time i recently banned somebody over armands was up against a mythical champion i think it was like galathy or something but that guy is nasty as shit, dude and i i was like i'm not dealing with that guy again because i've been losing to that that uh galthiar or whatever his name is so i banned him almost instinctually Armands was still there, but I also had Torment on my team. And so every time Ar Armands would get a TM boost or anytime he would try to steal turn meter or place debuffs, he was getting frozen from Torment. So that was a pretty nice counter. So I think Torment's probably a really good answer, but again, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say. And then there is Shu Zen if you have Shu Zen, right? Cause you can just use her A3 to remove sheep or sorry a2 to a mid gamer this looks like a great all-around support kit for one of my hydra teams there you go that's one way of looking at it to a mid gamer this looks like a great all-around support i guess i'm not seeing it or if it's more for mid game but as an early game player i read his skills and was like that's it i did thor i was planning to do them all but this one i'm not sure i need that increased buff duration team cleanse powerful skills Great counter to Centrano's bosses that has a we stuns the Odin dungeon if built with high resist. True. Strong affinity against their mods. I'm not, I'm, I don't buy it. I'm just not buying this. I'm not buying this fusion, leaked fusion, as a counter to our mods. Seems pointless. Defense that heals shield based on HP. Yeah, exactly. Definitely an Oktoberfest champion. Guess it's going to be the next fusion. Probably a skip. Yeah.